is Ali Sharma and welcome to Red Cat Racing Brakes tutorial for RC vehicles. I've been receiving a couple of questions from my viewers and from the RC owners uh, regarding brakes, that they are having troubles with the brakes, how to adjust the brakes and how to get best out of their RC car's brakes or how to get best braking. So uh, in this tutorial I will show you, give you an overview of what the brakes are in Red Cat Racing cars and how do you uh, easily adjust them without taking anything out and how to get uh, best out of your braking system by adjusting them. So let us start. Here we are with uh, Bad Draft 3.5 that is 180 scale Red Cat Racing uh, Nitro Series and we have Earthquake 3.5 and we have uh, Aftershock Nitro 3.0. And here it is, uh, the Volcano S30, also I brought it here so that I can show you if there is some difference in braking system on these RC cars. Okay, so uh, let's begin, I'll bring the camera close. Okay, here we are with the Aftershock 3.0, Earthquake 3.5, and my favorite buggy Backdraft 3.5. Okay, now we have just taken the shells off and I'm gonna show you under the hood uh, regarding the braking. Uh, these 180 scale uh, Nitro series actually use the same kind of central transmission uh, which is a two-speed central transmission as you can see. Uh, I will come from this side to give you a good view and coming to Earthquake 3.5 you can see it's the similar thing here and Backdraft 3.5 so let's come to the central one, the Earthquake 3.5, and I can basically show you the stuff here first before going to uh, one of the transmission that I have taken out. Okay, looking from top, there are lots of things uh, in our way, but here you can see is our central transmission. Okay, it's a two-speed transmission. You can see the brake disc and two brake pads. Okay, all right. And also notice one thing that in between the brake disc there is a drive cup okay I'm just showing it because it's very important to know there is this drive cup there is a big problem there is a big issue that actually happens due to this drive cup and people actually don't even know they keep changing the stuff here but they don't know the problem is here I will soon describe it and then we have the brake arm here so this arm will actually, you can see, pull forward and backward to brake, okay? This is braking, your truck won't move, and this is normal, uh, your truck will move, okay? Now, coming to Volcano S30, here it is, our brake disc and brake pads, okay? It's kind of a bit dirty because we were bashing this truck, and we have a metal arm here for the brake. All right, and it's going all the way to the servo arm uh, connected with an adjuster. Okay, let me pick up one of the transmission that I have already taken out. Okay, here is this transmission that I have already taken out. It's the same thing you can see. Uh, the brake disc is black uh, because we have used it before. Um, so we will actually open it and I can show you how to adjust the brakes. Okay, so this is the brake arm. When it pushes this way, it will brake. Uh, it will push this disc pads and they will just catch the disc and when the disc is not moving of course your transmission is not moving and your car is braking. 